Good morning everyone. Um, I hope you've had a great weekend and you're having a restful Sunday. Um, today's message, um, we're going to be looking at um, the story of Jesus clearing the temple and why it's important and what it means to us and also looking at things in today's society that makes us upset or makes us feel angry that where people aren't doing things honestly um so today's this message of oh, well, story i'm going to read um is from john 2 verse 13 to 22 so it was almost time is that the right one? sorry yeah it was almost time for the passover festival so jesus went to jerusalem there in the temple he found people selling cattle sheep and pigeons and also the money change changes sitting at their tables so he made a whip from cords and drove all the animals out of the temple both the sheep and the cattle he turned over the tables of the money changers and scattered their coins and he ordered those who sold the pigeons take them out of here stop making my father's house a marketplace his disciples remembered that in scripture he um in sorry remember that scripture says my devotion to your house O god burns in me like fire the jewish authority replied with a question what miracle can you perform to show us that you have the right to do this jesus answered tear down this temple and in three days i will build it again are you going to build it again in three days they asked him it has taken 46 years to build this temple but the temple Jesus was speaking about was his body. So when he was raised from death, his disciples remembered that he had said this and they believed the scripture and what Jesus had said. So Jesus wasn't talking about the literal temple. He was talking about his body. So in three days, he would build it up again, meaning when he died and rose again in three days. So why do you think Jesus was angry with the people in the temple? What makes you, why do you think he was angry? Um, I'm going to explain a bit. There might be other reasons why you think he was angry. But it's unusual for people, it was usual for people to bring a sacrifice when they visited the temple. Just like Jesus' parents offered when he was born, when they offered up the baby. Jesus was angry because the people in the temple were charging extra high prices for people visiting the temple. Jerusalem was under the Roman um, authorities. And so the money they uh, used by everyone was Roman a Roman coin. To enter the temple, people needed to pay half a shekel, um, a Jewish coin. So money lenders in the temple would exchange a Roman coin for shekels, but would add their own charges onto that coin. And people were making money for those who had come to um, worship God and Jesus wasn't happy with that he did not he didn't want people to have to pay yes they sacrificed when they came to they brought a sacrifice to them but they didn't want to pay so much at a temple and it was just wrong for them to make money of people wanting to come and worship and um, worship God so a question that I'm going to give you to think about is what are some of the things that you see in the world which are wrong and which make you angry so it could be like some things that i know that are wrong not even in england like in iran you get punished if you want to worship if you're christian and you want to worship god so i think that makes that makes me so angry because people should have the freedom to worship whoever they want and, and if people are worshiping god they shouldn't be punished for that that should be their right. That's their father. That's their person who they, their creator. And I think that makes me, that's wrong. And it makes me really angry to think about that. Um, there's loads of things that happen in the world um, that aren't even not so big. So something like um, people charging. So you buy something and then people sell it for triple the price because it's in high demand. And I think that's not good because if you've bought something for a price, you should be honest about it. You shouldn't have to try and um, make more money. Yes, you make money because that's what you want to do, but there's making money and then there's abusing it. 
so um or there's a sacrifice and then there's overcharging people so our activity i think um we need to remember that we need to try and be honest in whatever thing whatever we do we shouldn't be doing things that are wrong and that will make people angry um so for example i know that's something really big like in a run where you get punished for worshiping god but we ourselves we can do little things at home that we shouldn't be doing thing we shouldn't be doing to and um, we should stop doing to make our parents happy to make god happy there's lots of things okay so in psalms 19 verse 8 it says the order orders of the lord are right they make people happy the commands of the lord are pure they light up the way so um like i said just a minute ago that when you do the right thing it makes people happy so you at home you should follow your uh, listen to your parents there's loads of commands that you can follow to do the right thing um our activity that we are going to do well that you are going to do is if you have access to newspaper at home um you're going to look in the newspapers if you don't have access to newspaper a, a newspaper that's fine then you can just google it on on your devices on a tablet or your phone or a laptop um you can google some news reports so jesus saw injustice and people behaving dishonestly and was moved to do something about it so that's what we should be doing so if we see something obviously we can't go to run and demand that people aren't punished um for worshiping god but we can start doing things little so if we see something that's not right or someone being dishonest or someone's not at school or friends or your home then you can say something about it and you can try and challenge that and you can try and make things right and say well this isn't what god would want us to do this is what god would want. this give an example of what god would want you to do so we can seek a change where we see injustice in our own world so school home neighbors friends anything you see around you um that could be um you could do change small change obviously don't get yourself into trouble or do things that you shouldn't be doing or yeah so you obviously need to speak to your parents and let them know what injustices that you've seen that make you unhappy and how you want to make those different so what you're going to do in with the newspaper or on google is you're going to find um you're going to look at the news today so sometimes i hate looking at the newspaper and seeing all the sad things that are going on so the news keep us the news, keep, the news keeps us in the loop of everything but sometimes it's just so sad to read what's happening in the world and the injustice in the world so um what you're going to do is you're going to look in the newspaper or online and you're going to see what injustices there are in the world today that hurt you or upset you it might be different for each different person something that might upset me might not upset you um because we've all got our own beliefs and opinions about things so um you're going to find some injustices in the newspaper that you that hurt you and upset you and then you're going to write a prayer headline so something along the line so say for example um there's loads of different things you could talk about so an injustice could be um someone getting charged for something that they should they didn't do okay so that could be an injustice and then you're going to write a prayer headline for that so lord grant the person who's been um punished wrongly wisdom to be able to get through this strength to get through this like so what prayer could you offer to that person who has um who has has been treated unfairly or what has ha happened to them is unfair okay so that's what you're going to do you don't need to just do one and you can make it so have a look at different headlines in the newspaper and you can make your headline look like that you can make your news uh, paper look like newspaper you can make it look old you can make it look um you can have grays on it you can make it use different textured paper to write on however you want to make your headline but 
your headline is going to be a prayer to give encouragement to someone who has been uh, treated unfairly. So that's why you need the newspaper to see what's gone on that's not fair and injustice. And then you're going to write your prayer um, relating to that. Okay? Well, I hope you have an amazing day and an amazing week next week if you're at school enjoy school if you're at home enjoy home whatever you're doing but remember we need to make a difference if we see something that's not right that's dishonest that's unjust we need to make it right obviously staying safe and doing the right thing and not getting ourselves into trouble but we can if we can't physically do something about it we can pray about it that's the best prayer is the best weapon we can fight any battle with Okay, and I hope you have a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.